What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Here with a little update. It's been about 2,000 miles since we installed our BC VR coilovers on the 04 Matrix XRS. And just wanna share with you guys uh, some things I like, some things I'm not too happy with, changes coming, uh, and the comparison against the Bilstein B8 Pro Kit, uh, which in my opinion is a solid daily setup for anyone looking to increase the handling on this chassis uh, if you're not too picky with the ride height. Um, that being said, E130 Corolla and Matrix chassis, the handling is heavily dependent on the ride height. Uh, inherently, these cars came with what's called a solid rear axle beam uh, that is not adjustable um, in terms of camber, caster, or tow. Uh, it was really cheap to produce, uh, very reliable, doesn't really break, and um, Let's face it, this, this car was not really made to be modified like that, but here I'll pass on the left. <laughs> That's what we do. Slow cars rule. Anyway, uh, accompanying mods currently on my car uh, include the uh, energy suspension bushing kit, so the control arms, the motor mounts, uh, all polyurethane. Uh, it's got a Fidanza 11 pound flywheel and Xeti Stage 2 clutch. Uh, Progress 24 millimeter sway bar and my wheel setup uh, Enki PFO 5s in a 17 by 9 plus 35 offset. Uh, it's running 15 uh, millimeter spacers in the back. Now, uh, pros and cons after installing the coilover kit was first and foremost the looks. Um, that wheel gap is gone. Uh, I think it looks really good in my opinion. The fitment is. It's not bad, you know, I'm not, not a hella flush stance boy, but uh, it's, I think it's pretty dope. Uh, some cons that came with doing this, uh, lowering the ride height. Um, obviously the alignment and the geometry of the car is not within spec, uh, being that I can't adjust any of the rear attributes. So, um, biggest thing I noticed between this and the Bilstein kit is uh, high speed stability. Um, you know, going up over 80 miles an hour, hitting like a, you know, some, some bumps or uneven, uneven uh, road surface. The car is not 100%, you know, as predictable as it was with that previous kit. Also, um, spirited driving, like taking it through the back roads, uh, tight turns, the twisties. I definitely feel less confident in um, how the car is going to react uh, compared to on the Bilstein kit. It was really easy uh, for me to find and, and know, you know, where, what the car was going to do in most scenarios, and I felt really comfortable, you know, going flat out through, through some of these uh, little corners we got here. Um, this negative toe uh, on the rear is probably eating up the inner edge of my rear tires, and I'm noticing slight loss in like performance and fuel economy is also down. I look cool though, <laughs> so there's that. Uh, so my plans to correct this, cause uh, I kinda wanna do what it takes to make this car fun to drive and look cool, is raising the car up a little bit, just to try to give, give this chassis the best chance at um, correct suspension geometry, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm going to run some alignment shims behind the rear hubs. Um, and to do that, I'll need to have an alignment shop work with me and kind of guide me on how I need to cut these alignment shims to, to bring my rear toe and camber closer to within spec. Um, the ultimate goal is to get independent rear suspension on this thing by way of either uh, 99 through 03 Celica GTS or ideally like a 2004 uh, Matrix with a four wheel drive that has independent rear suspension. Now it's not a direct, you know, bolt in swap, but I'm willing to learn. Also, some uh, news for you guys, excited to see you guys down in Long Beach, June 8th, submitted my application to bring uh, the Matrix along to Toyota Fest. I did want to bring the Supra, but I think this might be a solo trip where the rest of my family might be have to stay behind. But anyways, Appreciate you guys sticking through the update. As always, keep driving those slow cars fast. Pass on the left. <laughs>